IVC, been a long time since last time, and it, it's been a long time since I, I made a vinyl update. Uh, I haven't been bored and buying uh, a lot of vinyl on late. Most of it is uh, new vinyl, uh, special releases, so on. But I'm buying more and more in CDs because much of what I'm what I'm uh, listening to right now isn't released on vinyl. I have to buy the CDs. But let's just get going. Vinyl update. Wow. Yes. First one was an upgrade. I was at a record fair uh, this Sunday in Malmö in Sweden. I only find, found one vinyl and it's an upgrade from a vinyl I already have. But it's a white cross. It was cheap. Uh, it's a little worn on the edges, but still in great shape. And the vinyl have a few hairlines, but it's much better than the version I, I already had. So the first one, White Cross. Next up, I've had this for a while now. Uh, yeah, great finds. Uh, I've been after this for a while, but finally found a copy. Vicious Rumors, welcome to the ball. If you like their self-titled, from uh, 1990, you'll like this one. Same uh, US power metal, but still very melodic and uh, amazing vocals. Happy to have this. Has the inner sleeve. And on Atlantic. So that's a really good find, great album, like they are self-titled, Met Tempo, US Power Metal, amazing. That's it for the used vinyl, uh, then there's new releases, so let's just get going. The new with Eclipse, uh, Paradigm, I don't know how you say it, Paradigm. This is a uh, gate soul, as always. This is very thin for a gate soul. Uh, it's the thinnest one I've ever seen. Feels almost like a single, but it's still gate soul. And this is by white vinyl version. And the labels are the same on each side. But again, an amazing hard rock album from Eclipse. Next up, an album that I've seen shown other, pla other places. And it's the new Michael Sweet album. You have the single with the two bonus tracks. You have a vinyl flat. I also have this on the back. Then you have this card with the track list on. And a booklet with lyrics and also in Japanese. Pretty cool. But also lyrics. And then you have the vinyl, which is a splatter vinyl. Pretty cool.
So that's a lot of stuff here to uh, get your hands on. And uh, at a really, really good price, even with shipping from the US, this must have been the best priced vinyl I've seen. And this is the single, you can see. And it is green splatter. Really good package. I want to see a package like this every time you order a new vinyl. That is really, really cool. And the album is really cool too. Next up, the new with Cobra and the Lotus, Evolution. This is the purple vinyl version. I haven't opened it yet actually, because I wanted to save all the stickers and so on, but I never got the time to do it. Um, it has inner sleeve, the lyrics on both sides. And purple vinyl. Great album, more melodic, more polished. Uh, they are getting, getting more and more polished with each album from the almost Man of War with, mixed with the US power metal, mixed with European power metal, that sort of thing, to a more modern melodic metal sound, which I actually, I really like that. Uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't care if it is the one or the other, I like both. And she has an amazing voice. Next up, re release uh, an album from 2004, just got released on vinyl for the first time Within Temptation, The Silent Force. Uh, and this is uh, 5000 copies with a poster, and it is on. Clear vinyl, crystal clear vinyl. I actually like the clear vinyl. Not easy to find if you want to find a, a, a song to play, but if you just put it on, it's, it looks cool. And I also have a post I won't fold it out. It's just. But I think this is my favorite album by Within Temptation. Uh, I learned them by their previous album which was uh, Mother Earth and the uh, evolution from that to this one was very big. They got a real orchestra to play, symphonic orchestra to play on this one, so it, it is epic. It is as epic as uh, New Nightwish, uh, but more melodic, more puppish in the choruses and so on. But really, really cool album. I really like this one. Next up, the new Crash Diet. You see, I got it with a plexer. Also, a gatefold. And this is a limited 26 out of 150. Also, really, really cool album. And this is on really cool greenish Turkey. Turkeys. I don't know how to say them. Really cool uh, color. I like that color. You don't see that color every day. But really cool back to form album from these guys. Not as as good as their debut, but it's almost up there. So a really really cool album. Check them out if you like sleaze metal. If you like that melodic sleaze metal from the early '90s, Skid Row. Uh, uh, Spread Eagle, Svengali, so on. Check them out. Next up, this uh, album just got released a couple of months ago, and you can get this album on vinyl from the band, and only from the band. And I was so lucky to get one, and it's Melodic Hard Rockers Rocket Love. 
Greetings from Rocketland. It is a sign, as you can see. Swedish melodic hard rock. Uh, this is on black vinyl. Um, great, great songs. Uh, great musicians. Check them out if you like Eclipse, if you like uh, the Swedish scene in general, you will like this one. This is as good as, as all of the others. I really like it. If I only could sell this one. Rocket Love, Greetings from Rocket Land. The last one, something completely different. I also have a. I really like soundtracks too, so I have to have this soundtrack, and it was a really cool edition. And I've never seen a vinyl made like this. This the Godzilla King of Monsters soundtrack, music by Bear McCready. You can see three vinyl version, and. Very beautiful, and it has a freezer. Very beautiful. I really like this one. Much easier than the other one. You, where you fold it up, and in the middle you have to take it out. This is much easier. You can take them all out in front, and they're all in different kinds of colors: yellow. And the one in the middle is orange. And the last one. is blue. A really cool soundtrack from Dear McCreary. Uh, I really like this soundtrack. Very bombastic and big. And some really cool themes. So that's Godzilla King of Monsters. Really big. So that's my vinyl from, from me this time. Haven't been a lot of vinyl lately. What we're listening to in the background, uh, this was unreleased in two, in, it was recorded in 1992 but never released. Uh, it's the King of the Hill, unreleased, their second album. Really, really good. If you like their debut, check them out. Great funky hard rock. Yeah, well, that's it for me. Hope you like what you see and uh, let's see some comments. I miss talking to you all because I don't make a lot of videos anymore. But it's cool when I finally make a video uh, to talk to you. So uh, let's check out what's your favorite in this video. Is there any of it that you have or you want or you missed out on I hate when you miss out on some cool stuff that they don't make anymore but uh, talk to you later bye